This is Frontline's television stories of an interdependent world with a focus on some countries who are today on the front lines of a continuing struggle for their destiny. This is Mike Marlowe welcoming you to Frontline's television, news and notes concerning our own country and the developing nations of the world. Frontline's television, a service of the Agency for International Development. Today, two stories both concerning drugs and narcotics in the developing nations of the world. The U.S. Foreign Aid Agency says more and more of the developing nations are becoming conscious that drugs and narcotics and drug addiction are a problem for their own countries. The senior narcotics policy advisor for the Agency for International Development tells why his agency is concerned. Joe Esposito. The key point that I think uh, needs to be kept in mind uh, when we're discussing the role of AID in the area of narcotics uh, uh, at large is that development, which is the staple of our business, and enforcement must be linked closely together. You cannot have effective development without satisfactory enforcement done by the host country. Joe Esposito says that while the traditional solution has been to get developing nations farmers to grow crops that won't yield drugs, now there is another emphasis. It is education. At the Agency for International Development, for instance, we have continued our major area development projects, uh, which are uh, income substitution. That is, we have helped uh, countries develop uh, alternative uh, crops uh, to narcotics and that remains an important part of what we do because after all we are a development agency but increasingly we have moved into the area of narcotics uh, education in fact about 25 percent of our budget for narcotics this year is in the area of education and we are working in half a dozen Latin American countries already in two countries in Asia and we're expecting to expand that uh, into uh, perhaps uh, another half dozen countries in Asia. The aid agency says that many drug producing countries once saw the issue of drugs only as a developed world problem, but are coming to realize it's a serious domestic problem for them as well. And they are trying to come up with creative ideas to deal with it. One of the first government efforts to focus extensively on the overseas narcotics problem on a regional basis has been done by the U.S. Foreign Aid Agency. It has released a narcotics awareness survey of eight Asian countries indicating that Thailand and Pakistan are experiencing a virtual narcotics epidemic. It is estimated that Pakistan has an addict population of 450,000. An official of the Agency for International Development is recently back from there. Dolores Weiss. I was really impressed with the uh, collaboration that Pakistan is doing with the United States through our aid program. They're working very closely to try and get the people to understand that drugs are bad for their own country. Aid has a very interesting program in Pakistan in which they are using newspapers and radio and television to actually get the message out that uh, drugs are harming their own people. I think it's, it's very definitely working. The idea is that there has been a change of attitude. I met people in, for instance, the larger cities like uh, Karachi, where there's been a lot of problems with uh, drug dealers. And there are certain areas that are known for the tension um, and incidents that happen on the streets. And the people there in Karachi want drugs out of the city. And so they are uh, looking favorably at this program. The other thing that we're doing is educating young people and educating um, not just against drugs, but also building up their own self-esteem so that they're not likely to, uh, to turn to drugs. Narcotics education now represents about one quarter of the U.S. Foreign Aid Agency's overall narcotics budget. Aid says the developing countries are coming to realize the problem is not for North America and the developed nations alone, but that it's a serious domestic problem for them as well. It is an interdependent world issue, one for all of us. 
And that's our program for today, Frontlines Television News and Notes concerning our own country and the developing nations of the world. Frontlines Television, a service of the Agency for International Development. And now this is Mike Marlowe thanking you for joining us today, inviting you to join us again for the next edition of our program. This has been Frontlines Television's stories of an interdependent world with a focus on some countries who are today in the front lines of a continuing struggle for their destiny. For more on today's topics, write to Frontlines Television, AID, Washington, D.C., 20523.